Okay, I made my way down to Pavilion Springs. And this is always a big, you got to go here if you're in Chickasaw National Recreation Area. All through this park is very nice hiking trails and walking trails all along the water. And the drive-in is really shady and, and just relaxing. Today, it said, extremely hot, so it's extremely packed. So here's these beautiful rock steps to get down to it. So, like I said, it's going to take several videos. I'll be coming back, and I'll bring my dog next time. Nessie didn't get to go, and she's very upset at me. But it was so hot, and I wanted to go in the nature center and get a book. Absolutely no, nothing about this area, and it's very interesting. But here's an artesian spring inside this cool pavilion, and it's uh, you always stop here. But anyway, it's got the um, you can drink the water, and I used to when I was a kid. But, but a lot of old timers still come and fill up jugs out here and drink it. I think it's really good for them, so I don't know, but here's like the mineral content. It's got this cool factoid <laughs> deal here, so you can see it's very... It tells about the water analysis and what the makeup is of it, but I tell you, it's, it's, whew, it's rank, but um, it's nice and relaxing in here, though, if you can... When I, I stopped and I, I took some photos of an old cabin that's across the road from the fountain we'll see in a minute. And man, you can smell that sulfur water from across the road. I'm not sure I'd ever get used to that. But here's like an underpass you can go. You don't have to go, under the, go over the road. And it leads to a Flower Park across the street. Anyway, cool pavilion. A lot of people out today, very hot. Really nice summer day. But yeah, this is one definitely one notable area that you gotta stop and check out. But there's a lot of RV parks around. There's camping all through the park. Um, I used to camp here in a tent trailer. I don't. I see some people pulling out some RV tra RVs, uh, like small trailers. So we'll check that out at some point uh, during this. We'll um, see what all they let in. But I know that they're around Arbuckle Lake and and stuff. There's some RV parks. Well, this tells about Pavilion Springs. It says in the late 1890s, the town of Sulphur. Um, grew up in the fr in around the fresh and mineral water springs. <laughs> Ooh, goes on to tell about it, but surprised him by wanting to be around it. Whew. So when I start hiking, I usually I usually park here, and then there's like you know, and you, you have signs all through it and tells you how many, how long you've walked. I like that part. But it's perfect for a dog if you want to take a dog with you, and, and uh, it's perfect areas, and then you can you can kind of um, enjoy it because it's all shaded. I mean, it's even on a hot day like this, it's not a bad walk. Just make sure you have your water. Now here's where. <laughs> this is dried up here, but there is a lot of water flowing today. But here's just one of the many, you know, good workouts you can get going up these, um, all these steps that they made. And whoa, just don't fall down. It's all shaded, like I said, just little dots of sun and stuff on you, but. Great leg workout, man. <laughs> Go up and down that 50 times. And I'll show you the trail and then we'll 
go over to the park and I'll show you the fountain they got. See, I'll just, I'll smell gravel. It just goes on and on and on. So it goes along the water. So you'll, you'll have focal points of water. So anyway, come down. It's really a hiker's dream. Bring a tent. There's hotels in town. They made the, like I said, they made the beautiful, huge artesian hotel. It's uh, very nice. Has has a casino in it, and um, you enjoy nature and and uh, live. Um, stay in one of those uh, beautiful hotel rooms if you wanted to, but you'll want to stay out here if you ever see it. So anyway. On to the next.